I am going to visit my friends and family in Russia. So here I am, I made it to the airport. I'm super excited to be flying home. I'd like to see my friends and family as soon as I can. It's gonna be an 11 hour flight to Moscow and then an hour and a half to St. Petersburg. So it shouldn't be too, too bad. I'm gonna be hanging out in um, LAX for the next couple hours and it's so, so empty. There are no people, a lot of you know businesses are closed. Uh, this is the second largest airport in the country. It's huge, super empty though. Very, very strange feeling. I'll be waiting a couple more hours for my plane and I'll be leaving soon. <laughs> Hey guys, so today has been my third day um, at home in Russia. Uh, so far it's been just crazy because I've been, you know, getting used to and feeling familiar with home. Um, it's been a whirlwind of memories, emotions, uh, meeting people, and it's been just so nice. I've also felt kind of jet lagged. Um, I wasn't able to sleep well. I didn't sleep on the plane at all. In my first night I slept maybe five hours. Um, the second night I slept maybe six hours, but actually today I got my first night, you know, good sleep. <laughs> uh, I think I slept for maybe um, eight and a half hours, which is very good. So I feel like a normal person now. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's, it's a sunny day in St. Petersburg. So just a fun fact about St. Petersburg. Uh, it's pretty cloudy and rainy most of the time. Um, it's like Washington state. It's just, you know, damp and rainy and cloudy most of the year. Um, even the winters in St. Petersburg are pretty mild in comparison to Russia. It's just very wet. Um, so now it's spring, snow is mostly gone. We still have a little bit of ice here and there, but it's, you know, melting very quickly. And today has been just a sunny, bright day, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm gonna go to the downtown and, you know, revisit um, all of my favorite places, and I'm gonna take you along with me. So it's a beautiful day in St. Petersburg. Um, you can see the sun is shining. We got some clouds already, <laughs> so I'm hoping to make it to the downtown while it's still nice out. 
Uh, it's actually pretty warm. I'm wearing this coat, but I'm actually hot. Uh, it's plus plus eight Celsius. Not sure how much it is in Fahrenheit. Probably like in the uh, 50s or 60s. And the best way to get to the downtown and see most of the scenic St. Petersburg is by taking the bus number three. It's it's been my favorite bus my whole life uh, because you you can pay you know uh, like 50 rubles, which is less than a dollar, and get to the downtown in no time while seeing the most beautiful streets and yeah it's a cool route and I'm hoping to take the bus Now I brought you to Bronze Horseman. Uh, that's an equestrian statue of Peter the Great, who was Russian first emperor. He was the, the Tsar who decided to name Russian Empire. Uh, he also founded St. Petersburg in 1703. So he plays a core role in Russian history. Bus number three drops you off right next to St. Isaac's Cathedral. It's the largest orthodox church in the world and it's the fourth largest cathedral in the world so that's pretty impressive it's 333 feet tall and you can go on that little uh, viewing platform so that's what i'm gonna do now Climbing on top can be definitely challenging, but it's totally worth it because the view here is absolutely beautiful. Hey guys, so I finally met my friend Natasha. Uh, she's my old school friend. I haven't seen her in three years and I miss her so 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 much <laughs> Not an old friend. No, 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 just an old a childhood friend. So that's all good um, We decided to go to Winter Palace uh, Which is also known as Hermitage. It's right behind me right now There's a large collections of all kinds of artifacts right there, and we're just gonna go see it. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool experience
Petersburg used to be a capital of the Russian Empire and it still has a lot of history. Let me show you something. <laughs> These little ways were designed for horses to bring people right next to the houses. Not sure what was that all about. It's not very common. What I was going to share with you is uh, the last time I was recording my video, the weather has been great. It was sunny, it was warm. However, today I think it's actually snowing possibly. It's March 30th, um, so it shouldn't be snowing in Russia. I know Russia is cold, but not that cold. It's raining, it's snowing, it's windy, it's cold. That's your typical St. Petersburg weather. <laughs> So this whole time I've been super excited to share my St. Petersburg experience with you guys. It's my home city and I haven't been here in three years, which is a lot to me. And it's just, it's nice to spend time with my friends and family, do some normal chores and just experience my previous life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I was trying to show you the beautiful downtown of St. Petersburg, which I personally really like. Please let me know if you have ever been to St. Petersburg or if you would like to visit here at some point because uh, I can give you some tips on how to do that. Um, and in the next video, I'd like to share more, you know, routine life here in Russia. I'm going to go to cut my hair. It's our family friend. This woman has been cutting our hair for the last 10 years. She is really good and she was excited to hear about our lifestyle, like in the truck camper and traveling. She's really nice. And then I'm also gonna go to a dentist. I'm gonna try to get a cleaning and I'm gonna check my teeth. I haven't been to a dentist for about two years, basically since we started our lifestyle. So I'm curious if, you know, we're gonna find anything. So yeah, stay tuned. And if you like this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It really helps us here. And please subscribe to our channel. That helps us too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Pushkinskaya, ulitsa.